High winds and falling trees have caused quite a bit of roof damage all over the Houston area over the last few weeks. You may even have damage that you can't see. Yeah, this is video that Wally Crow sent us on click two pins. Chances are you've seen workers and contractors in your neighborhood offering to help after these storms. But before you take them up on it, investigative reporter Amy Davis is showing exactly what you should do and say when you get a knock at the door. Can I help you? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm just in your area today performing free roof inspections after that big storm you all had. I can get up there and take a look and let you know if I see anything. Who are you with? Home services roofing. We just want to see if we can help you get a new roof. We're able to file the insurance claim for you, but first we need to get up there and take a look. Mm, my husband's not here right now, but if you give me your card, I'll talk to him and give you a call back. Well, we're here right now. Why don't you just let us go up and take a look? That way I can tell you what we find and you can make an informed decision. And you can just let him know. This doesn't have your address on it. Are you based in Houston? Uh, we're a Texas company. We have offices here. Well, El Paso's in Texas, but it's 10 hours away. If there's a problem with the roof you put on, who's going to come fix it? Well, we do short term and long term warranty repairs, and I can give you those right here in writing. How long have you been in business? 12 years. Got references? Yes, ma'am. Here you go. Do you pull permits for the work from the city? Oh, we can, but you'll have to pay for the permits. Mm, okay, check it out. It couldn't hurt. All right, Ms. Davis, you do have some wind damage. So if you sign right here, we'll go ahead and start that claim with your insurance company so we can repair it. Wait, this says if the insurance company approves the claim, I have to give you the job. I haven't even had a chance to give a second opinion. Oh, oh, if you don't trust me, I don't want you to sign it. We're just trying to help you here. I mean, why wouldn't you use our company? I need a day. Let me call you back. Okay, this is the point where you Google the roofing company. You want to call those references, check reviews, look at the BBB to see what they have to say about the company. You can even call the shingle manufacturer or look up and see if they're certified with that shingle manufacturer because this would help extend warranties for your roof. After you do all of that, if you're comfortable with what you find and you want to use the company, call them back. Hey. All right, we're ready to get started. We do have some decisions to make here. You can go with the gold package top tier 50 year roof for $30,000. The middle of the road, get the job done standard special for 24,000 or the bare bones get you covered roof for $20,000. They're all good, but if you don't want to see me for another 50 years, I just think you should go ahead and sign up for this gold package. We won't be alive in 50 years. I'll take the middle package. All righty, we're going to order the materials for the job. I'm just going to need a deposit so we can get that order started. Okay. Okay, I'll pay you half now and you'll get the rest when the job is done. Texas is the only Gulf state that doesn't license roofers. Anybody can call themselves a roofer. That's why you have to protect yourself. All right. That was a good way to do it, that too. That's great. I mean, yes. Kind of walking you through it. Exactly what to what say when right. they say, because sometimes they've got more information than you do, and you're kind of like, okay, uh, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll sign. But you feel pressure, right? Feel the, the pressure. I mean, heck, who wants to go climb up on your own roof and right. look? So that's dangerous. Whatever you do, what I've learned from Amy is do not sign anything yeah, the until key. you until you know that's what you're going to do. Yeah. All right, on clicktohouston.com, we've listed all 13 questions that you should ask and why. And while roofers are not licensed in Texas, there are several groups and manufacturers that offer certifications for them. Uh, so it's another layer of checking that you can do to make sure that they are legitimate. Now, we've added those databases for you as well to search at click2houston.com.